Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm going to show you how to use lossless scaling on your Steam Deck. So this is really awesome. And I do want to mention that the app we're using is the official lossless scaling app from Steam. You will have to pick it up. It's seven bucks, but the plugins we're using are not from the original developer, but this will allow us to double our frame rate on the Steam Deck. I've been doing a lot of testing so far, and I mean, it really does make a world of difference on this device. So if you're ready to get lossless scaling installed and up and running on your Steam Deck, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I've just moved over to my game capture to make it a bit easier to see. And like I mentioned, the first thing we really need here is lossless scaling. There's one thing we'll need to do once we get the application downloaded. But before we even buy the application over on Steam, let's go ahead and make sure we can get everything else installed. All of that needs to be there in order for lossless scaling to work with the Steam Deck at the time of making this video. So we're going to install Decky, and to do this, we do need to head over to desktop mode. So you can press your Steam button, power, switch to desktop. Now that we're in desktop mode, we can install Decky on the Steam Deck, but we do want to set a password. So we're going to go to our system settings. We're going to find users, change password. If you've not set one, all you'll need to do is put your new password in the top line, new password in the bottom. Make sure you remember it, write it down somewhere. Click set password and we're good to go. Now that we've got our password set, we can install Decky Loader. We're gonna open up a browser. Links for everything will be in the description. I would recommend reading through this and there's a lot of great stuff that we can do on the deck with Decky Loader. We're just going to choose download and this is going to go directly to our downloads folder. We actually want to place this on our desktop. So from our downloads folder, we'll just grab this, move it to the desktop. We'll use that in just a second, but we do need to head back to the browser and we're going to download Decky Lossless Scaling VK. We're going to have to manually install this inside of Decky. Again, really awesome information over here. So read through it before you do anything. This kind of gives you a breakdown on exactly how to use it and what you can expect out of this thing. We're gonna to go to releases. And at the time I'm making this video, it's 0.9.1, it's a pre-release. Assets, we're gonna download the lossless scaling.zip. This is also gonna go directly to our downloads folder, but we're gonna leave it right there. So now that we've got the lossless scaling zip downloaded and Decky installer, we're gonna run the Decky installer right here. We wanna install Decky, we'll choose continue, and this is where our password is gonna come into play. So we're gonna use the password we just set right here. We'll choose okay. I usually just install the release. You can try the pre-release if you want to, but I'm gonna go with the recommended for stable Steam OS. Choose okay. It's going to download everything in the background. It's finished. Now we've got Decky Loader installed on the Steam Deck. We're going to head back to gaming mode right up here. Now that we're back in game mode, we just need to make sure we have Decky Loader installed correctly. So we're going to press our left hand side button on the Steam Deck with the three dots. This is going to bring up our menu. At the very bottom, we've got a new little icon. It looks like a little plug. Decky is ready to go. We can go to the Decky store and download some stuff. You can change themes from here if you want to, but what we wanna do is install that lossless scaling.zip that we downloaded. So we're gonna to go to our little settings icon. We wanna enable developer mode inside of Decky Loader. So it's right here. Make sure you have that checked. Now we'll go to developer, install plugin from zip file, browse, Remember, it's in our downloads folder and it's right here, lossless.scaling.zip. We'll just choose this, install, give it a second to finish up, and there it is. We've got it right here in our Decky menu. We'll go ahead and open up the lossless scaling plugin and right at the top, you can see that I don't have lossless scaling installed and we don't have LSFGVK installed. We're going to install LSFGVK, which is a lossless scaling frame generation Vulkan. We can do it directly from the plugin, but now we need to install lossless scaling from Steam. And this is kind of why I wanted to wait, just in case you couldn't get to this point and, uh, you know, you already spent the money on lossless scaling. 
Again, it's seven bucks over on Steam. Pick it up, it also works for Windows. We'll install it here on the Steam Deck. And there's one last thing we'll need to do. Once we get this installed, we'll have to switch it to the Linux beta from the settings. Really easy to do. So lossless scaling is finished installing. We're just gonna go into the first menu here. And over on the right hand side, we've got the manage section, properties, betas, and from the beta participation, we wanna drop down Linux testing. We'll back up. We will need to update lossless scaling. Just takes a second. And we can head back into Decky. Lossless scaling. We now have lossless scaling installed, LSFGVK installed, and we can actually set this up for our games now. But it does require a launch option for each game. So you can actually copy the launch option right here. And then for each game you wanna use it for, hopefully this has changed in the future, but right now we have to do this. It's fairly simple. So for instance, if I wanna use this with Spider-Man 2, we're gonna to go to Spider-Man 2, Manage, we'll go to Properties, and right here, our launch options. We'll go ahead and paste that command in on screen now, just in case you wanted to type it out. We'll back up. And again, if we wanna use it with Cyberpunk, we'll also need to add it here. I believe mine's already ready to go, but we'll go to properties. Yeah, so I've got the command for this game ready to go. So now we've got lossless scaling set up ready to go. It's time for a little bit of configuration and I'll tell you exactly how I've been using mine. You can experiment with this, see if you get better settings or not, but we're on a low powered Steam Deck. So I do think that this is really gonna work out for a lot of different people. Lossless scaling, frame generation configuration. 2x, 3x, 4x. I go to 2x. So this should try to double our frame rate. Three times the frame rate, four times the frame rate. Four harder to run games on the Steam Deck. Three, four really isn't gonna work out. So I go to 2x, flow scale. The lower we set this, the better performance we're gonna get, but the generated frames don't look as good. To tell you the truth, on this small seven inch display or 7.4 inch display, given that we've got the Steam Deck OLED here, I go to 50 or 60%. Moving down a bit, we've got a few other options that we can use. And uh, the only other thing that I really turn on here is performance mode. So we're gonna go to performance mode and there's workarounds. If you run into issues with this per game, I would definitely recommend heading over to that GitHub page kind of looking around over there. I'm sure some other people have asked questions, but this is just gonna get you up and running pretty quickly. So flow scale 50, 2X, we're using performance mode. And while we've got this set up, we can actually change this on the fly in game. So I'll show you how it works. We'll start Spider-Man 2. Okay, so here we are with Spider-Man 2 on the Steam Deck. I'm connected to uh, a game capture device right now. We're at 720p. I'm at low settings with FSR set to balanced. This is how I would normally run it, and you can get a pretty steady lock at 30 FPS with this game. It's not incredible. And with FSR frame gen from within the game, you can get much more out of it. But I've noticed that with lossless scaling, I am seeing better performance out of this one. So you can see right now, we're just stationary. Over on the left-hand side, we've got our FPS counter. Fluctuating anywhere between 42 up to 44. We're gonna open up Decky, lossless scaling, and we're gonna enable it. So flow scale is set to 50. I'm gonna go 2X, and as soon as I go to 2X, you can see that FPS jump up dramatically. Now with this game here, I do notice some ghosting going on uh, with that frame generation but on the built-in display, it's not horrible and it does feel a lot smoother. So we can get a little more out of this because uh, right now we are just at low with FSR set to balanced. If I take it to performance, this will definitely uh, increase dramatically, but going from that average of around 32 FPS to an average of around 54 is a pretty big jump here and it still feels really good. Actually, I'm not seeing as much ghosting as I did when I first tested this out. We are using lossless scaling in performance mode. 
But uh, if you're going to be playing single player games on your Steam Deck, this is something that I would definitely, uh, you know, utilize. I wouldn't use it so much for online multiplayer games where you definitely don't need any kind of latency. But even this here doesn't feel that bad at 2x. We could take it up to 3x, but uh, performance is not going to be great because, again, we've got a low-end APU here with the Steam Deck. But to see it running here in Linux is still pretty awesome. Having lossless scaling installed on the Steam Deck is really awesome. It's pretty easy to set up. I know it's not going to be for everybody. And for some games, it's just not going to work really well. Again, we've got that very low power APU here, but this does allow people to generate those extra frames here, making uh, the game itself just feel much smoother. But that's it for this one. Links for everything we use to get this up and running are in the description. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.